caused thousands of dollars worth of damage to trees along Slaughter Lane this weekend. Neighbors say oak tree branches were ripped down and left untreated and are now worried they could be dying soon. KXAN's Lauren Landman takes a closer look at what a local crew is doing to protect those trees. Neighbors shot this video on Saturday of the large truck after it made its way down Slaughter Lane, ripping branches off oak trees on both sides of the road. It really hurts to see these trees torn up like this. Dozens of limbs were still scattered along the road stretching about a mile Monday morning. You can see it's a pretty good sized branch and they used a chainsaw. They didn't even use the chainsaw right because had they chainsawed it right, they would have cut it all the way through. So they chainsawed and tore the tree. Trent Patterson says this wasn't a free trim for the neighborhood because the trucking company didn't properly treat the trees, leaving them open to a fungus that could kill them. We have a severe oak wilt problem around here, and these trees are all now susceptible to oak wilt. So if one tree ends up getting it, it's going to travel through the root system to the next and to the next. That's where Brent's tree service comes in. It says the trucking company called them to clean up their mess. Obviously, I don't think they had any idea what they've gotten themselves into. The tree company is looking at every branch ripped up, cutting it the proper way, sealing the limb, and sanitizing between each tree to make sure they're not spreading any fungus. I believe that we're going to be okay. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. City of Austin says it has also dispatched a crew to take steps in preventing oak wilt. The city agency that manages the right-of-way was not involved in the movement of this construction equipment. And to give you some context, this neighborhood is extra sensitive about their trees. They saw Texas Department of Transportation contractors mark too many for removal for the South Mopac Improvement Project. We reported back in January that TxDOT acknowledged the mistake and kept those trees from being axed in time. The agency is also working with the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center to replace native plants that have been uprooted by that project. Tonight on KXAN.